Well, let's see how we did on that problem, that practice problem. If we had a carbon content of 1.2 grams in 100 grams of soil, in order to determine the percentage of organic matter, we're going to need to convert that grams of carbon to grams of organic material. You'll recall that our conversion factor when going from grams of carbon to grams of organic material is to multiply the grams of carbon by 1.72. So in this case, if we multiply the grams of carbon, 1.2 grams, by the conversion factor of 1.72, we end up with 2.064 grams of organic material. Well, in this particular example, that grams of organic material will be the same as the percent of organic material because our soil sample in this case was 100 grams. However, if our soil sample were something other than 100 grams, we would then need to go back, divide the weight of carb, or excuse me, the weight of organic material by the weight of the total soil sample divide and multiply times 100 to convert to percent. But since our soil sample here was 100 grams, the 2.064 grams of organic material is already parts per 100, which is the same as percent. So our correct answer in this problem was 2.064. Don't be concerned about rounding. I would be more concerned about process or procedure. Uh, realistically, if a soils lab analyzed this sample and came out with a number like 2.064, they would probably say 2.1 percent organic material. In other words, they would go to about the nearest tenth. Accurate determination on be beyond tenths of a percent in organic material uh, really doesn't mean a lot. I would also like you to be able to work problems where if you are given the um, grams of organic material, you should be able to work back and determine what amount of carbon would have been found in that sample. Laboratories will often do this with reference samples where they know the percentage of organic material in a soil sample they analyze it back to determine what amount of carbon they should have found in order to validate the uh, test that they're using on organic matter samples.